YouTube was good, it's your boy Laurent, potent pondering, never pandering, never panhandling. Yeah, we sizzle like that bagel and they scrambling. Anyway, I'm back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Shout out to all of my new subscribers, shout out to my returning subscribers. Y'all know I had to come and do some chit chat about this. So Cardi B, Cardi B is spiraling today. She's spiraling, like, you know what I'm saying? And like let's really get into it what, what cardi b's biggest issue is so her issue is right now you know she's on social media and she was going off on her fans i'm not gonna play the audio because you know cardi curses too much and you know we believe in monetization so she curses too much but i'm gonna just go over and tell you what the root of all this all of these issues are so cardi is online spiraling because her fans want more music right but what i need to really like uh, and, and the crazy thing about it is cardi is entertaining this bs as well she's saying you know i told you music coming you know next week a verse is coming y'all gonna look so dumb y'all gonna like first and foremost right you need to realize you just released four records within one month i'm not gonna let you live that down and the real thing about it is is that we know that she feels some sort of way because she released those four records and they didn't do anything you release four songs it should be at least two out of those songs still bubbling right now you know you did go pop with puntaria and you thought that that was going to go up for you it didn't work you know what i'm saying how many different videos do we have to reiterate this for you and then you talking about like you know what she was saying um in the audio she said people are talking about cardi is losing her momentum you are losing your momentum you are and everybody knows it so listen it's a few things that she talked about that i want to make sure that i touch on right first and foremost this whole thing with her and spotify when she went up there saying that she had um four songs that cross a billion just to insert Nicki Minaj she got over four five songs that cross a billion streams on Spotify you went up there as a way to work on whatever you're working on for your new project to make sure that you get the playlist in or whatever and you know how it goes with Spotify a song has to be in demand for it to even reach that type of it has to be in demand for it to even get playlisted like that and a lot of your music ain't been in demand and it's like you was on on Twitter talking about female rappers ain't getting certain looks or whatever the case may be talking about um you know enough went top 10 enough went top 10 based on the buying mechanism and everything that you had behind it you had pre-orders for a single do you understand what i'm saying like you didn't just blow up and it just took off and where is it at now i hate to tell you this even though enough debuted in the num in, in number nine on the billboard hot 100 it's not a hit nobody cared about that song the week after and you know just from listening to her fans i could understand and see why um cardi is so delusional because kim barbie he's delusional too he was like oh enough you know it went viral and then this if enough uh, that is not a viral song i don't know what you're talking about but that is not no high hills on my tippies and then cardi's you know she's you know cardi has always been focused and worried about the youtube bloggers right so cardi went on talking about that talking about old people talking about me on youtube i don't know if that was like um more centered towards everybody or if she was just talking about our mom because he has a huge platform and you know he used to sing her praises and then now he keeps it real like he well he he keep it real in regards to cardi i don't listen to everything but i feel like he's honest like how he used to be right so Cardi, you know, she's feeling she's feeling the heat. So I just want to touch on that. So she talked about, you know, can she celebrate her one billion? Y'all been knew that you had that one billion with Spotify. This is this ain't nothing new. Like that's nothing new. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing new at all. So I said Spotify payola is incoming because Cardi mentioned that when she was out there, um, she was like, this is gonna help her with her her new releases. Catch that. If you listen to that space, catch that, because she definitely mentioned that mentioned that this new connection with Spotify is gonna help her with her new releases. So, and I said Cardi B was gaslighting fans over the album release. Like Cardi, listen, let me tell you something. The reason why you don't have no date that you're showing for your album or whatever the case may be, because there's no traction for your album. Nobody wants to announce an album when you don't even have a single that's winning right now. Nobody wants to do that. I apologize. I had a little look like a mosquito or something i need to get up out of these um get up out of this grass but nobody wants to release nobody wants to announce an album when they don't even have like a popping single you would think with I, what did i tell y'all i said cardi b and atlantic Records strategy was drop four singles this was going to be like a whirlwind she was they, they was going to be able to shake the charts up and that she was going to be able to roll her album out it's the bet experience weekend is upcoming too you know what i'm saying so they wanted it to look like cardi was moving and shaking she's not moving and shaking at all so listen it's crazy so 
she what else did I write? She said that the um every few weeks, you know, every few months or whatever, she has to go through this with the fans. And you know, she's really like to me, she's trying to beg and beg them to go easy on her Cardi. How look how long that they've been waiting. And I and what's so crazy is that I was listening to our mom Wiggins um space and the fans was just saying that they a lot of them were saying that they felt as though that they were support supporting Cardi to spite somebody like Nikki. And that's the and listen, Cardi talking about she don't feel like she could take it in this industry. She's too gangster. No, you only gangster based on the black people who you hang around. Let's keep it real. The only people who gangster around you is the black. Listen, we seen your we seen your fight game. It wasn't nothing special about it. I knew girls that fought better than that when we was in fifth, sixth grade. Cardi, stop. You only you only gangster based around the black people who you hang around. So it's just crazy to me to see her to see her spiraling like this, spiraling like this, all because the attention is not on her. You know, Megan Thee Stallion, she's starting her tour. She's starting her tour. Um, what is it today? People was talking about how they felt as though that she could be trying to like pull, like trying to do antics over. But listen, Megan ain't even selling out. So it's like I don't even want to give that much that much attention. But Megan ain't even selling out like that. The real talk of it all is Cardi B and her team is feeling the heat because she released all these records and ain't none of them move. None of them moved. Wouldn't that hurt you too? So listen, don't try to be out. She don't try to be out here and act like you know it's nothing. Like oh, you not losing momentum. If you wasn't losing momentum, enough would be up right now. It wouldn't be suffering the streams on Apple Music and Spotify. You know what I'm saying? So what she's doing is doing that dirty work in the background right now to make sure that the business is done and make sure she's going to get her playlist and all of that. You got playlists and with all the other songs. What more do you want? What more do you want? Your name is not speaking volumes. This is why I'm telling y'all the, the the formula is messed up now. Before they could rely just on radio or whatever, it's, it's the, the game is messed up. So that's why I keep telling y'all in my commentary, the games of yesteryear are over it's over. The games of yesteryear are over. And listen, we're going to see who's real and who's not. But listen, go on Twitter and check out that, um, you know, her space. If you can hear her talking, Cardi sounds super stressed. She sounds super stressed. She's stressed because, listen, they don't hyped you up for that first album. They don't made you think that you could go against the greatest female rapper of all times. You're not even talented. You're not even balanced like her. You know what I'm saying? They gassed you up for too long and people are the writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. And she, she was like, and then listen, you know, you know how you could tell Cardi B is down and wounded? She started talking about, oh, if my marketing not right, if this not right. Yeah, because the label ain't spending the money like that because they know that the return is not is, is not going to yield the results of yesteryear when you was getting over by pushing the strings to make you look more popular. It's not like that no more. You don't got no hit record no more. Regardless of what people try to say with Nicki not dropping no videos or, or anything with um, Pink Friday 2, F the club up still went up hard on the weeks for, on the charts for 20 plus weeks. You can't compute. Listen, you can't compete where you don't compare. And this is and I think and you know what? No matter how long it takes for people to really and finally see something, they will finally see it. And I think they're going to see it now. You know what I'm saying? Cardi is super stressed right now. She like, dang, Megan came out and announced a tour. She went on tour off a of Nicki name. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no tour. Yeah, you don't. And you know that little Kim said some little uh, cryptic message where she said she's going to be going on tour over the summer. I don't, we don't, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know who she's talking about, but we'll see what comes into fruition with that. But yeah, I just really wanted to come and make this video and just let you know Cardi B is super stressed right now. And then she's talking about like, you know, she ain't going to, after she dropped this verse, she's not going to, um, she's going to go back on hiatus or whatever the case may be. And it's like all of the little lingo that she, that they do is very barb generated. Like, yo, I, let me just tell you this. I'm happy for the internet because I remember I told y'all before, um, you know, before we had social media, it was like, you liked every female rapper. It was like nothing, nothing, like even when Foxy and Kim was beefing, I still liked Kim. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of her songs, I still do. But the thing was, is now with social media introduced, you know, you now know a lot about the people's personalities, they nasty side, the nastiness. I mean, you know, most of all, you know who's not a real artist and who's just hanging around this motherfucker for Birkin bags and to just be in the conversation. You know that, right? So I'm happy of this day of social media so that I could never blindly support Cardi B. The only people who too typically support Cardi B is the losers who they feel like Nicki is on a level who they can't relate to somebody like that. The losers. I hate to tell you that, but you know what I'm saying? People feel how they feel, but a lot of the time you can see the loser in them. You can see it. So Cardi, you know, she's, she's, um, they, they made her, they tried to pitch her as like an underdog and that she came in and she won and she was some stripper who turned, who glowed, who, who, you know, had a glow up and all of that, whatever. That's not appealing to me at all. So listen. 
This is your boy Laron, potent pondering, never pandering, never panhandling. Get in the comments and let me know what you think about Cardi B spiraling online about this new album. Also, let me know if you like these shades. I got these shades for Gag City Tour. Yeah, them shits is fire. Yeah, I went up in the mall and I was just like, damn, I don't want to wear black shades with my outfit. I'm like, my outfit is colorful. I need some brown shade. I need brown. I need the different color, 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 you know? So let me know how you feel about that. And then, you know, comment on Cardi B. You know, she's super pressed. And she worried about this album. She talking about I'm worried. Yeah, you are worried. We all know. Cause listen, let me tell you something. Your fans, if out of if out of those four songs that you got out right now, if at least two of them was really going up, if enough was at least do, at least doing numbers, you would um not even care right now. You'd be like, oh, enough is riding. Like you know, I don't even got to rush nothing right now. And Ken Barbie is giving it all away by talking about people supporting other female rappers and how you know they supporting them and pushing their snippets, but they not pushing yours. So tell us how you really feel in the conversations in the back end. You're not really getting that push like that, mama. You're not getting that push like that, mama, and you tired of the drama. Listen, so listen, this is your boy Laurent, potent ponder, and subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'm up out of here. Peace.